we played uh, Age of Mythology tonight uh, for over an hour, and then Martin lost his internet connection. So we're going to take a look at the uh, the wrap up scores here. Uh, Uncle Bill highest total score, uh, highest economy, highest military. Uh, we played for 90 minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, Tripping Pug was the red line. We lost him at 62 minutes and 2 seconds. Uh, at that point, he was... Well, I was actually coming back at that point. Uh, I was not doing too bad. I was starting to roll. Uh, and then uh, we wiped out everyone else. So if we take a look at uh, Mythology, Uncle Bill, of course, grabbed the most settlements. Uh... The computer guys did the most improvements. <laughs> I destroyed the most buildings. And Tripping Pug had the distinction of the most units lost. So congratulations, Martin. I actually lost the least units according to mine. <laughs> That's right. When the internet uh, goofed us up, we both got to finish the games on our own. Or at least play the games on our own. <laughs> so that's hardly fair. And in terms of economy, uh, Tripping Pug was struggling. Uncle Bill dominated uh, with a couple of AI guys uh, specializing in wood in favor. <laughs> Anything to add about our game, Martin? I did better than Uncle Bill. <laughs> All right, sounds good. I felt like, um, I always feel like you're a lot better at building like building up, like pretty much the strategy is build a small base, surround it with walls, and then crank out an army of the biggest, toughest, most expensive guys I can. But you're, you actually were like, you're building walls and you're training units and you have like a million farms and you're actually probably better at this game than I am, but. Well, I don't know about that. Uh... I do seem to do pretty well at multitasking. Yeah, I'm terrible at that. I think if we once, we, once we post the video online, we'll see that uh, I certainly was struggling about the first half of the game and then shared nothing with Martin and then he got kicked offline. Well, I do, I do feel good that um, I was able to help you early on. I mean, I killed... I think two Titans. Oh, yeah. Uh, by the time I actually got right. my Titan built, it was half over. Well, all the other Titans were dead, so it was more than half over. But that was yeah, because yeah. there was a time early on in the game where I just could not catch a break. If we take a look at the map, uh, I started off in the lower corner of the map, and my village was right next to another village, and uh, I was in contention uh, pretty much early on and losing and not getting a really good economy going and suffering. And, of course, Martin left, and I went through and grabbed up all of his stuff, which is not something a good uncle should do. Yeah, I left all of your settlements alone. Oh, didn't you grab the villages? No, I was... I didn't have enough villages... Oh. I had them doing other stuff and was just sending my armies around, so I just ignored your villages. Yeah, that's... I always try to build those up as fast as possible. That's probably the biggest difference in our playing style. Yeah, I... I don't... I don't usually have too many people doing too many things. I have, like, three villagers doing each task and then one type of building for each thing. Instead of, like, I I saw you must have had, like, 10 or 20 farms there. Well, there whereas was, I had three. When you, when you, so you you can hear me at the 20 or 30 minute mark crying that, up oh, let's start the game over, it's not working. You know, I, I didn't have any resources uh -huh. to do anything. All I could do was build farms and hope that uh, I could keep my thin little walls up long enough to... Uh, get some meat. Now I look at my end numbers, and I have 40,000 meat, uh, 36,000 wood, and 41,000 gold. So that's a good game. We'll have to do it again. This time, 
maybe the internet won't crap out on us. Yes. Next time. See you internet. next time, internet. Peace out.